It is. Can't be hanging out with cute blue haired girls when you got a shawty at home. What the f is wrong with you, Yusuke? Came back to life for this girl. You nasty. Hey, if you haven't already, hit the sub button, drop a like. Full reaction, full discussion will be on Patreon. You your reaction coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. What's up, Nasty Cats? It's your man behind the cam director here with another Yu Yu Reaction episode 7 and 8. Uh, where we left off in episode 6, uh, Yu Yu had just confronted the three thieves, uh, Goki, uh, Hiei, and Kurama, about the artifact of darkness that they stole from King Emma, aka Baby Emma's dad. And they got one week before the king comes back, and Baby gotta act like nothing happened. Interesting enough, he sent him after them on day one because he's like yeah i just taught you how to use your spirit gun which he wasted his one shot a day but i need you to go get these guys man my dad's back in seven days and uh, 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 uh i don't know how to say this but he gonna kill me right so poor yusuke gets thrown right into it we're like literally fresh off coming back to life mind you this guy just went back to school, just started skipping class again, and is already being tested by this filthy, dirty fuckboy of a teacher, uh, Iwo Mozo. What are, Iwo, Iwo Bozo, excuse me. Iwo Bozo. Yeah, we're not giving we're not saying his name right. I know his name. Trust me. I know his name. I'm not gonna say it right. Mr. Iwo Bozo over here. And yo, he tried to get Yusuke in trouble by stealing everything from the classroom and, act, and then try to kick him out for it. And then he's so dumb, he still has the stolen things on him. Like, what the fuck? Yo, when he got hit with that spear gun, yo, yes, it was your only shot of the day. Yeah, you probably had some shit to do, but sometimes pettiness and justice, they gonna have to wait. Fuck that, I, I was with the shit. But now he finds himself in a situation where that one shot, it's the difference between life or death right now. He's about to get into a death grapple with Goki after Hiei and Karamo just left. They're like, yeah, we don't want to take this fight. So this is UK, Yusuke's first chance to get one of these artifacts back. So we're going to see if he can pull it off. I want to see if he could throw hands like he like against these humans the way he can against these spirits. I'm hoping Botan has like some divine tool or intervention to help him out. Because right now he in trouble, man. He in trouble. Uh, but we're going to see. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into it. If you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications because at this point we're posting content all the time and you don't want to miss out. Um, if you want to catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description for the Twitch link and the Patreon link where you can find uncut, unreleased, full, Yu Yu, and other anime reactions. Yu Yu, reaction episode 7 and 8 coming up next. Oh, come on. What you got, Yusuke? Damn. Tough. Oh, I ain't never seen Yusuke get his ass beat before. This is new. Jeez. Oh, shit. Is that Botan? Huh? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, do they have like a spirit realm healer or something? That's what I thought. Whoa, Botan. Yeah. 
Yeah, he is way overpowered. Disgusting ogre. Look at him. He feels bad for the kids, bro. He's a man of the people. Oh. Whoa. Wow. This guy is truly the worst type. Yo, fuck him up, bro. <laughs> he be spitting, though. He's like, sorry, fam. Not that smart. You're going to have to yell it at me. Whoa! Damn, Yusuke. Pretty strong, but shit. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, my gut's hurt from that. No, yo, right through the chest. Oh, nice. Blast his brains out the backside shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yo, tummy blows top off. Wait, did he do it? Yo, fucking use gay, bro. He really did it? Bro, you need to go lay down, fam. Yo, what a good deal. I think. Listen to tough guy Yusuke screaming. No, I think you're reading right. I don't think he's a bad guy, but...
You know, just go talk to him. He didn't. He could have taken him out right there, right? Yo, you need to be nice to the Botan. Oh, his mom said. What's his deal? There it is. There it is. Sauce. I'm assuming you're a demon or half demon. Karama, the Nine Tails. Makes sense. Shit. He just want to save his mama. He's a spirit. He's a demon spirit. He's the Nine Tails. That's why his name's Karama. I I didn't want to make the connection because you know sometimes it could just be coincidental, but no, literally. No, come on, two days. Maybe he'll just take his human form. What? There it is. The parallel, bro. He had to watch his own mama go through it. Yusuke kind of had that much life left, bro. Alright, that was Yu Yu episode 7. Yo, Yusuke is a fucking adept fighter. That's what I'm gonna call him. He's adept. He is able to learn and move on the fly. 
Because let me tell you, the first time you fought Goki, it was like you didn't know anything, right? He went back the next goddamn day to throw hands again. And he got bodied. Yo, when he picked up that tree trunk, man, yo, that was impressive. That was impressive. He, yo, he a kid. He 15. Yo, I'm grown. If you told me to go pick up a tree trunk like that, I ain't doing it. Yeah, he's a spear detective. He probably got otherworldly powers and all that shit. But yo, that's no small feat. But Goki ate it in the gut. What he couldn't do, though, was eat the wood in his mouth. Hey, <laughs> bitch. And um, yeah, he yo, Yusuke managed to beat him by sticking a piece of wood literally in his mouth and blowing his the back of his neck out. I wasn't sure, because even Botan said it when she gave him the little ring. She's like, yo, you got one shot, but I don't know if it's enough to take. If, I don't know if it's lethal. But I guess that was to the body when you shoot into the soft tissue. Yeah, you you dead, dead. So, for lack of a better term, Yusuke is a murderer. He a killer. Oh. Oh, Yusuke, killer, killer. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I didn't put that two and two together till just now. However, yeah, he killed the demon, though. So, I'm not even, I'm actually that not that mad about it. He had to save those kids. Let me tell you, Goki was the worst of the worst. Preying on the old or children is literally the worst thing you could do. I'm pretty sure there's law, there's like unwritten law rules of engagement saying you gotta leave civilians, old people, and young people, leave them the fuck out of it. This guy was intentionally going after kids. You know what that means? Like FBI open up, bag his ass up, but Yusuke got him, so it don't even matter. That was how he got the first artifact of darkness. The second one was a little bit easier. He ran into Karama in the street. And come to find out, Karama is not a kid. Karama is a fuck spirit that specializes in seals and bonds. That happens to have a couple of extra tails, more so than a regular fox. Now, I sit in the reaction, I'm going to say it again. You know, I heard the name Karama. I see the red hair. And I'm like, all right, all right, listen. I know it's a common anime trope that, you know, Karama is the name for a nine-tailed fox from other anime. But I didn't want to just jump to conclusions and say it in this one. After hearing the backstory, I was like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, same exact trope. It's the same fucking thing. But that's okay because, you know, it's it's a lore. It's Japanese lore, Japanese legend. It's not surprising to see that theme pop up in, all, in a bunch of different anime. That's nothing new. Let's not pretend it's like anything new, right? So I, I thought that story was impressive because to see a demon fox come be reborn, just jump into the body and be reborn as human child to get their powers back after a certain amount of time. To watch them grow up and be like, oh yeah, no, I actually have attachment to this human host who just birthed me randomly because I decided I needed to rest for a little bit. Um, it was it was actually kind of touching. It was nice. Um, Yusuke's dumbass, Baka, in the words of Botan, decided, yeah, the mirror needs a life for life. Everybody knows that. Or a life for a wish. And yeah, when well, Yusuke was like, I'll share in the power. I'll give half my life. You give half. We'll save your mama. Because he's seen the pain of a mother realizing they lost a child. And that's something nobody should have to go through. And Yusuke's like, yeah, I'm not going to let that shit happen. Luckily, the mirror was like, ah, fine. I guess I'll let it slide this one time. And didn't take either of their lives and still granted to wish. Which is, I'm going to assume, it's probably the first time anybody's ever tried to share in the power. So... Because Yusuke is just that kind of guy. You know what I mean? I said it early. When I first episode one reaction, I said, Yusuke seems like a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. And this just further proves the point. We've seen it time and time again. Yusuke is a very high character person. And I love that about him. It's not about, you know, it's always, he, he makes the good choices. He does the right thing. And he's always actually looking to help, even though he's a little bit of a stinker. But who isn't? You know what I mean? Everybody likes a bad boy. So moving forward, Kenema says, ah, oh, shit, there's still one more left, but you got to get it from Hiei. Good luck. So we're going to see how that works out. With that being said, if you made this far and you haven't already, hit the sub button. Check the description. Go check out the Twitch. Go check out the Patreon. Episode 8 reaction is coming up right now. Oh, he bad, bad. Oh, so he's the actual bad guy. He's the one that actually wants death and destruction. Oh, so he got healed super fast. Oh, 
Oh, that was on the full moon when they did it. Okay, I almost missed that. So they got three days. Uh oh, don't get caught. Oh, that's right. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, no, she doesn't know Botan. Hey! Okay. Yo, she really did, though. Mm -mm. You got to explain to your girl why you was with another girl. Oh, she got him! <laughs> Trash. No. No fucking way. Damn, he actually brought them. Really? Roll over the spirit realm? That's all you want to do? He said, slowly avoid you. <laughs> no, eh, what? Wow, what a dick. Oh, no. Jeez. Yo, apparently Botan's OP, too.
Yo, you gotta end this fight quick, fam. Fuck you, he a. Oh shit. Power of friendship, baby. I'll fuck you up. Hmm. Don't you mock me. What the fuck? Call a fucking cockroach, bro. Disrespectful. Is he really? Jeez. Poor Botan, keeping her alive, bro. Yusuke, finish. Gross. Back up? Come on, you owe him, son! Oh, he really came to mark him, too. No, why? Ew. Oh, gross. True. Yo, he's like, don't worry, I got it, bro. Come on, whoop his ass. Oh. He's on that Goku shit where every time he gets his ass beat, he gets stronger. Is it the ring? Oh, he got him in the air. Ooh. So close. Fuck. Ha! Ha ha! Wait, what? I'm with you, bro. Off the mirror.
Yo, this guy Yusuke, bro. By all means, he was not supposed to win this fight. Also, I feel like he's not that bad of a guy. He eh? The fact that he even had an antidote. Oh, my God. Yo, Yusuke is the most dangerous type of MC where he's just going to try something and it's either going to work or it's not. Fucking dangerous, bro. I can't believe this man really did it, bro. That's wild. Yo, you can't be chilling with other shotties, bro. Nah, fam. Ah! Bowtie did not be trouble. It is. All right, so that was you, you, episode seven and eight. In episode eight, we got to see the final count, final showdown, whatever, between uh, Yusuke and fucking Hiei. And I got to tell you right now, Hiei by all means had the advantage, right? But forgive me, because I'm about to make a comparison. I don't know what came first, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. No, I'm pretty sure Yusuke came before Dragon Ball Z. So Yusuke has a similar ability, it seems, to Goku. And they just kind of sprinkled it in, where like, as he's getting defeated, his spirit energy is like unlocking, right? So for me, I think Koenma got lucky, right? So he was like, oh, usually I'd have you training and get your spirit energy up. It, the difference is, instead of doing training, Yusuke is just getting his spirit energy up trial by fire. So it, to me, it makes, at first I was like, yo, how the fuck is he pulling this off? He by all means is leagues ahead of him and actually evil and has the upper hand in every way. But Yusuke has this thing where as he, as he's fighting, he's unlocking potential, unlocking gates, just powering up throughout the fight. And of course he's fighting for a greater purpose than he is. So he's just kind of getting his power up as it's going. And yeah, he just got caught slipping. Honestly, I feel like if he was like more, he really wanted to end it and end it quick. He should have, would have, could have, but he didn't. He played with this food. He started having fun the whole, he was in the whole villain, you know, theater part. And he ended up getting his ass clapped because yeah, he just played around too late. Karama coming through, being the homie with the epic, epic save, man. Yo, took, took one to the gut for Yusuke. I don't think he actually needed to. I really feel like he could have just kicked the sword out of his hands and did some talk no jutsu. However, I guess if you needed to splash the eye with something, you needed some blood, so be it. Maybe something I'm missing about that part. But yeah, I think he is so dirty for going after Keiko. It's so uncalled for, but it served his purpose. He, and technically at one point, he had everything that he wanted Yusuke was like, psych bitch. And he was like, psych bitch. I poisoned her with a jig and eye. And if she doesn't get this antidote in the hilt of my sword, she dead. And it was, it was actually, it was a really good play. It, it was good. It was a good back and forth. Uh, Botan dressing up like a schoolgirl to make it seem like it's not weird when they're talking is now going to bite Yusuke in the butt cheeks. And yo, you notice how she did that girl magic on him? She's like, oh, interesting. Who's that? Oh, okay. Well, such and such needs you. I'm leaving. And he's like, hey, wait, you're not gonna, you're not even gonna ask about her? She's like, oh, you want me to ask who's the bitch? He's like, yeah, well, you didn't ask about Botan. She's like, oh, so the bitch has a name. <laughs> yo, yo, all my guys out there, if you watching this, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. You know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So yeah, that was hilarious to play that in. And Botan was not wrong. She's like, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be your biggest problem going forward. How you going to explain all of this to your girl? Because I got to tell you, man, listen, both time. Yo, stop. All right, relax. Relax. I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax. But both time, bad boy. Oh. Anyways, that's not the point. With that being said, we've closed the case on the three stolen artifacts. And ironically enough, Aquanma still got disciplined 100 spankings because technically he's right. The sword got blood on it and it's rusting. The mirror got used and cracked, but the orb is okay. The orb is okay as far as I know. So one for three on a robbery, not the greatest, but hey, at least it's not in the hands of evil, right? I think that's a win for humanity and for the spell realm together. Uh, with that being said, I'm excited to see where I'm moving forward from this. Uh, we've met all the characters, or I feel like everybody who's introduced into the crew later on, but we still don't know how it's all gonna gel and come together. So I'm excited to see that process. And I really hope they show us Yusuke trying to explain to Keiko what the fuck is going on with Botan. I really wanna be a fly on that wall. So with that being said, if you made this far and you haven't already, go ahead, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video, hit the bell for notifications, because we post content all the time and I don't want you to miss out. If you wanna catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the description for the Twitch link and, of course, the Patreon where you can find uncut, unreleased UU and other anime reactions. I'm your man behind the cam, and as always, stay nasty. You're nasty.